it's funny because when I hear your name, it still has like kind of a mysterious ring to it. Do you get that a lot? Like, did you stay away from the skate industry purposefully? Honestly, like, I think I stayed away because, um, that's a good question. Brent hit the global radar in the mid 2000s when he started skating for Element. He had a flowy good style and instantly made an impression on an entire generation. After a couple videos, he parted ways with the brand, and while you'd hear about him from time to time, his name was always surrounded by mystery. While I was visiting Portland, I tried to track him down and see if he'd open up about his career and what he's been up to since the Element days. You were saying sometimes you come walking here or not so often? When I was younger, yeah. I mean, it's been a, been a couple of years, but come check the roses from time to time, you know. What's your day-to-day -day like these days? Just depends on the day, you know. I've uh, So I've got a job, and I'm a, I'm a peer support specialist here in town, and I um, work with people like coming out of treatment centers or, uh, you know, in recovery or exploring the idea of like getting sober, that kind of thing. So every day is different, but you know you're helping people at the end of the day. I, I might be helping people, I don't know, depends. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's just, you just never know. You know, you can sit there, have a conversation with someone for however long, and then they can hang up and do whatever it was they were talking to you about that they didn't want to do. You know what I mean? It just, I, you know, but, I guess it's just kind of like uh, the chance of, you know, me being able to help that person as slight as it may be is like worth it for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So cats skate this thing. No way. Oh, dude. Yeah. Somebody did something. I don't know. Something down. I, I feel grunting on playing, but no. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see that clip. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's a couple of names that got you stoked? back in the day, I guess. The people that stood out, obviously, like Chin. You know, Mike Chin, he was like a smaller dude, so good, like such good style, just had this like attitude, you know, like totally unapproachable. There's like all these 90s guys that were so good at skating and just essentially like didn't really give a fuck, you know, just down at Burnside, getting it. You know, you felt that. And, and that, that's kind of like the influence, you know, I kind of cut my teeth down at Burnside, essentially. How much do you follow skating these days? Because I know you've just put out a part recently, too. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, something like that. I mean, I follow skating enough. I, I don't know. I mean, just whatever I see on Instagram, I think is like my main source of, um, you know, what's going on in skating is, is whatever I see. You know, I, mean, I love Satori. I love everybody there. But, I, you know, I, I'm not like chomping at the bit to fucking be sponsored, you know? Yeah. So. You but, feel like you did that already? Um, I mean, sure. I mean, I was. Brent and I walked around the Rose Garden and we talked some more. But really what I was most curious about was what happened to him in Element. With a bit of nudging, he was down to stop and talk through it a bit off the side of the road. The ball was kind of in my court. They were like, hey, we want to do this thing with you. And I was like, hey, like, you guys like what I do, right? They're like, yeah, yeah, man, we love it. And I was like, right on. Like, you guys like what I produce and you guys like all that. They're like, dude, fuck yeah, man, it's great. I was, like, I was like, all right, here's like the formula, you know? And I was like, I, sometimes I don't skate for like, you know, weeks on end. I drink a lot. I'm partying, you know, just, just. So, so like, you know, this is the formula, like, let, don't, let's not mess with that and you guys will keep getting that desired result you want, right? I wanted to just kind of do what I did before I was sponsored so I could keep on like producing the same thing for, for my own sake. And then of course, you know, Element was a big company and they wanted, I think I'd put out three video parts in three years which is like a lot, you, you know what I mean? And I, I felt like it was like so demanding. And I'm like, dude, fuck. I was like, I'm depleted. You know, I was like, dude, you all got all, you guys have all my fruit. I have nothing. There's like nothing left on the tree. So maybe that had something to do with it too, is if I could like just put some distance in between me and the machine. I didn't really feel like I had a lot of time to evolve, like, and, and, and just, just, just be. 
So then, you know, I quit Element, you know, one day. I still think like skateboarding career, the fact that I made money is just crazy to me. Like I love everybody at Element. I'm super grateful for the opportunity I had and like that those are like, you know, those were times. You know what I'm saying? Like they were definitely fucking times. But I really wanted to kind of like cleanse myself of the industry, I guess. So I got on a uh, small company in town, Tribute, Chin, uh, a handful of other friends. You were still partying? That's yeah, oh yeah. Going. Drinking a lot, man. Like, I was a blackout drinker. I, I blacked out often. Because it, in my mind, you know, if, if I didn't black out, I didn't do it right. I was like, fuck, man. Like, I'm really not skateboarding much anymore. And uh, ended up filing for divorce and working with a psychologist. I didn't know it at the time, but he was sober like 18 years or something. And anytime I would talk about alcohol, he would like perk up and kind of like keep me after for free. And this dude was like finishing my sentences for me. I was kind of all over the place. Didn't really realize what, you know, I didn't know I had a problem and drinking was what I did more than anything. And like, I still just couldn't see it. But he kind of duped me into like seeing that for myself. Like, oh, hey, yeah, actually, you know, I, I think I do have a problem. I think that he had kind of been given another lease on life. And that's kind of how I feel today. I feel like watching from the outside, you brought a lot of style in skating when it was more about tricks at that time. Like everyone was trying to do the gnarliest tricks and you're like, yo, I'm gonna cruise here and do it better looking than anyone. Do you feel that way or not? Nah? Like, was that important to you, most important? I think that that's just how I skated. So, you know, I was never really like, if you ask me, like, I'm like, I've never really, I'm not like that good at skateboarding, but I like, I think people can relate to what I do and they're like, oh, I could do that. and. Maybe they're like, but maybe not the way that it looks when he does it, but I could do that. I don't know. Do I want to do something that looks good and cool and I feel good, or do I want to do something that is super technical and I just land however I fucking land and yeah. I'm like, yeah! You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you're helping with this push program, how would you define it? We started doing push movement. It's just like friends that are in recovery and we host skate events. And we get out know, pizzas, a bunch of soda water, NA beverages, um, and it's you know free for the community. Anybody, you don't have to skateboard, you don't have to be sober. It's just like, I tell folks, hey, like if you feel like giving your liver a break or you want to stop like putting stuff up your face or in your, in your body, like come hang with us. and. I got duped into sobriety, into, into bettering my life. And if I can help dupe someone else, and if I, you know, using skateboarding is gonna help, help accomplish that for that person or, or, or community or whatever, it, it might not. Like, I, I don't, none of us are out here thinking like we're reinventing the wheel or anything, but like a lot of us that are involved with push, push movement didn't have those examples, you know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, now here we are, and you know, kids come to these events and, and they're like, this is really cool, you know? They're like, oh, you know, we just didn't have that. So now we get to kind of like 
double back and, 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 and try to uh, correct where we went astray. 